Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith again and today we're taking a little bit different look at the recent comments coming from Intel regarding AMD's EPIC processors. If you do recall in an earlier video we discussed it where Intel in some slides re, uh, referred to AMD's Naples as what they called repurposed desktop products for servers consisting of four glued together desktop dies along with their poor track record and lack of ecosystem. So AMD has responded and we felt it was very fair to go ahead and give this response some airtime and cover it here on the channel. Now what did AMD have to say? Well Scott directly addresses the first and foremost allegation without prompting. So he came right out and he said it at their Epic Tech Day event. And to quote him, it says, there's a theory out there that Epic is just four desktop processors glued together. When you look around throughout the presentations today from Mike Clark about the memory sizes and features that he has built into the core, and when you hear from Kevin, the security enhancements that are in there, and when you hear from Jerry about the other provisioning of memory bandwidth between devices, you hear and you hear from Sam, determinism features that aren't available for the, from the competitor and that were built for the enterprise. Hopefully you will realize that this is not a glued together desktop processor. Now again, that's Scott Ayler, SVP and GM Enterprise Solutions. They went on later to say, that they could have built, or rather, could we have built a monolithic part? Absolutely. But it would have involved trade-offs that would have dragged our performance down because it would have been too large and too difficult to manufacture. Breaking Moore's Law is what we did with Infinity Fabric. Now thinking about the architectural innovation, so what? How do we think about it providing real performance and real demonstrable value? Again, that was Scott Taylor. So they did have a little bit to say about it and they went on through some slides showing operating systems that they're working along with developer tools as well as showing that they're gaining momentum across the industry through different uh, retailers or different distributors and they go on to reiterate their security features that are built into epic server part showing some of the hpe cloud line servers along with their platform ecosystem is growing so that is worth noting and while it may have been down in the past, it looks like they're on a good trajectory to do a good job going forward. But it was interesting to see AMD actually reply to this and the way they did it we felt was very, uh, very good reply indeed. Rather than throwing mud back across the table, they simply replied with uh, what their plans were. And on another note, we'd like to hear what you guys have to say about this reply from the company. It's very interesting to see uh, two tech giants kind of go at each other in a very interesting way. Uh, let's hope it doesn't devolve down too far, but for now it's at least a little bit entertaining to see. Again, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found this video informative or entertaining whatsoever, feel free to like and leave a subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video.